All right, Milos, uh, welcome to Doha. Give us your first impressions of uh, this setup that uh, the Socceroos have here in Qatar. So obviously it's a pleasure to be here. Um, it's an honor to be selected in the Socceroos World Cup squad. Um, being here in Qatar, in Doha is obviously amazing. I think this facility is phenomenal. Uh, the training pitches are ridiculously good. The facilities we have, the, the gym is really good. The rooms are nice. Uh, the cafeteria is nice. The food's been really good, to be fair, as well. And I think, in general, the staff and the people that are working around the site are, are really good and friendly. And we've had, a so far, a really good experience. And I think we're very blessed to be here. And I think it's going to be one of the best World Cups ever organized. Can you uh, talk us through your preparation for this tournament? You were one of the early arrivals. What, what, uh, what, what have you been doing over the last few days to prepare? Um, obviously, after my season finished in the MLS, I continued to train in America for the next maybe 10, 12 days. And then um, I flew to Serbia to see my wife and, and daughter and my family, who I haven't seen in five or six months. And then I continued to train with Red Star Belgrade, my old club, who opened me, who welcomed me with open arms. And I appreciate that. And I'd like to thank him this way as well for that, uh, for helping me prepare. And I was training there for, for a good two weeks every day. And I think I'm in peak shape and, and really fit uh, and ready for this World Cup. The Socceroos have played here quite a few times. Do you think that gives you an advantage? I think it doesn't really give us a big advantage. I think the only thing it gives us is the knowledge of the pitch, the environment and, and the atmosphere, what it could be like and the weather in the stadiums, which is going to be a lot different than the weather outside. Um, I think there won't be much of an advantage just purely based on the fact that once you get into the stadium, the weather and the temperature is going to be like anywhere else in the world and it's going to be the same for everyone. There's no heat, there's no humidity. but. The only advantage I think we do have is the fact that we've been here over the last year, year and a half, four or five times to play different qualifying games. And um, tell us a little bit about uh, the early days and what you've been doing here in camp. Obviously, you now have a few more teammates <laughs> to, uh, to train with, uh, early stages, but uh, what's your training schedule like and what are the conditions like? There's been a lot of talk about the conditions and uh, it is, despite the fact that it is winter, it's still quite warm. Yeah, it is quite warm and we are training in the evenings around 4 or 5 p.m. Um, it is quite warm and humid, but I think it's good because you work up a sweat and you generally feel like you've done something really well. And the, the training's been quite good. Uh, me and Mitchell Duke trained yesterday and today again the two of us even though another couple of boys have come in they'll just do a welcoming session um, we'll do a bit more intense work but the sessions have been quite good um, position specific training which is good and a bit of gym work so it's uh, it's good to get ticking over and can't wait for all the boys to get in over the next couple of days and, and start training as a team it's your second world cup what did you learn from your first and what can you bring as one of the senior players now uh, in, in this squad? Yep, uh, I was in Russia, had a great experience, and I think the team in Russia was uh, very different. We had a lot more experienced players and leaders like Mila Yedinak and, and Tim Cahill and Mark Milligan, who were, who were part of the squad. Those boys are not here, but I think Matty Ryan's here, you know, Matthew Lake is here, Aziz is here, who are, who are still leaders and who have been to the last World Cup as well, and myself, so, and Jackson Irvine as well. But, you know, I can, I can bring, obviously, that calm nature and, I guess, that experience to help the boys if, if things are in need, you know, of a bit of a, a conversation and outside of the pitch. But on the pitch, I can bring that calmness and, and that work ethic and, you know, the desire to win and just my experience overall in these situations and playing against these players that we are bound to play against over the next couple of weeks, who I've played against most of them in the Champions League, so I'm looking forward to, to playing against some of them at the World Cup as well. 17 of the squad are at a World Cup for the first time. What would your advice be to them? Take it all in. Um, I guess accept where you are. Um, be thankful that, that you're here. 
I guess it sinks in after you leave the camp. You'll you'll probably sink in that you're a, at a World Cup, and I guess just be proud and you know close your eyes for a minute and and take it all in once you lay down in your in your room and realize that you're at a World Cup and you're representing not just your country but you're representing your family and your friends and all the hard work you've done since you were a little boy and started playing football. But the most important thing is to smile, enjoy because. There's 832 players at this World Cup and you're one of them and there's millions of footballers around the world so you have to know how fortunate you are to be here. And finally, um, a lot of work's been done to make you feel like you're at home here in the base at Aspire Academy. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the things that have been done to, to make it feel like an Australian home. Um, one of the nicest things is the cafeteria and then the, I guess the coffee and tea from back home is, is done by Alexia and she's doing a really good job and I think in general the, the artwork and, and the photos around camp are really good and I think all of you guys, the staff, have, have been doing a really good job to make us feel like we're, we're back home and this camp and, and the base, I guess the, the rooms, the, the, the social room, the, the treatment rooms, the equipment room is, is all really high level and I just think it makes us feel like we're at home with all the I guess green and gold colours and all the writing and the nice wishes from I guess the little kids that wrote nice wishes and they're stuck around the, the hotel so it's a, it's a nice little touch. Thank you Milosh. Thank you.